I just got a call um, not quite an hour ago from my my older brother Monty um, informing me that our father has passed away today. Um, it's it's not necessarily a, a terrible shock um, because uh, we we've known for I think about a month now that he's got stage three liver cancer. Um, or had, I guess that's past tense now, had stage three liver cancer. Um, and I had wanted to go for a visit last month, but I just didn't, I didn't have the money. I didn't get my, you know, and be there with everybody else. They were, they were planning a family photo and I, I didn't, I couldn't make it. I couldn't come up with the money in time to do it. Um, and, and, and then I, you know, I had other things I was in the middle of on top of that, you know, planning our relocation here to Las Vegas and, uh, you know, packing, donating, giving away, um, rent, you know, arranging a U-Haul, um, house hunting, um, you know, those, those types of things. Um, just, you know, when, when you're, it, it just, if you've ever did a move in your town, um, or even, you know, from one side of town to the other, you, you can imagine how busy you were multiplied by quite a bit um, to do a relocation that's to another state, um, even though the state is, is pretty close to, to where I am. It's still, you know, from where I was living in Utah to here, you know, about a day's drive. Um, so making or coming to do here to do things is often like coming out the day before so I could spend the day of doing whatever needed to be done and and then you know heading back out as soon as whatever was done or the day after to get back to Utah <clears throat> um, until you know finally everything was set up for us to to come here uh, and us is just just me and my daughter Cherokee um, and, and my dad's been on my mind all that time. My mother would berate me for it. Um, she would berate me for my love for him. I, I unconditionally love both of my parents, despite who they are and their faults and flaws. And, um, you know... At least with my dad, I, I don't feel like he intended me ever, ever, that he ever intended. I, I know he loved me, and I don't think he ever intended me any harm um, while I was growing up or, or you know, after I became an adult. Um, he, I was just never saw enough of him, and I, I guess in that regard... You know, nothing for me, I guess, in, in that sense is, has changed except for the possibility that, you know, I'm, I can go back to South Carolina to visit, but he's never, he's not going to be there. Um, and he's never going to come visit me here. Um, or wherever I, I go now, um. He'll just be in my thoughts and visiting me in my dreams, and uh, and that's just the way it is, and, you know. I he's my dad, and I guess as a little girl, I always kind of had this worshipful love for him. Um, you know, he, he my parents were never married, and 
And my mom's a very hard to deal with person. Um, so I, I guess even, even when, you know, he couldn't come see me when he wasn't in jail, it was probably still hard to come and, and, and visit me properly, you know, because my mother, like I said, she's, 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 she's very difficult. Um, where I can say he's never intentionally tried to harm me. I cannot say the same for her. Uh, yeah. I, I, you know, he's, he's done bad things, you know, and he, he paid the price for the bad things that he did in his life. And, uh, but she, um, she, she just, my mom, I would actually say she's just inherently evil. Um, I can't fix her. Um, so where I would, um, just, just still absorbing, but not, um, shocked, maybe, maybe a little still su surprised because I, I didn't expect from diagnosis to death um, to be so quick um, but at the same time I relieved he didn't suffer a long time um, that he didn't endure um, crazy chemotherapy or or anything like that you know crazy treatments that weren't gonna do anything to cure him but maybe give him a little extra time um, but maybe sometimes the treatments are worse than the, the disease. And uh, so uh, I need to try and get a hold of my brother Jason back home in Ohio. Uh, Monty said he wasn't able to get a hold of him. It may be just my mom refusing to answer the phone because she might recognize his number or something. But hopefully when I call, she'll answer because I know she does like to talk to my daughter, Cherokee. Um, so... So hoping to um, relay that so that um, my, my mother probably doesn't see the point in Jason being informed of something like that because according to her, we, we have different biological fathers. Um, she, she says his father is somebody else and, and maybe maybe his dad is. I, well, honestly, I don't know. Um, it's going to be hard to, you know, there, there wasn't DNA testing when me and Jason were, were little. And uh, so, you, you know, and she lies so much sometimes. It's just sometimes no telling whether um, she's telling the truth or not. I just I just happen to look just pretty much very much like my dad, uh, especially bearing a heavy resemblance to his mother. Um, whereas Jason, you know... He, he, I think in some ways, uh, I think he, he bears a st strong resemblance face shape wise, nose wise, things like that, um, to my mother's side of the family. Um, so, um, uh, kind of looks, looks like her brother of Frankie. <laughs> Frankie is the Browner, brown, browner skin, brown eyes, and, uh, you know, extra tight curly hair. Uh, but Frankie's been gone a long time now. Um, so I, I need to get on that. I need to try and get a hold of him. And, um, you know, there's not going to be a funeral, so I don't have to worry about attending something like that. My dad's a very practical man, and he has set up for himself to be cremated, and there's not going to be services or anything like that. For him, it was just being glad for the children that were able to come visit him, to visit him. And um, we talked a couple of times on the phone, and I should have called more. I, I've, I don't know, sometimes I kind of feel like I lost him a long time ago. We've been distant for a while now, but still always thought we would have time to reconcile properly. <laughs>